doing youtubers uh, thanks for coming to my channel and checking out my stuff uh, next review I'm gonna do is on uh, the Condor uh, soft shell summit jacket uh, I recently made this purchase about well, I guess it's been about three weeks now uh, I've worn it quite a bit actually I wear it probably every chance I get I actually brought two Condor jackets at the same time um, just great purchases uh, before I actually do my review, I'll read a little bit on what Condor says about their their jacket, and then I'll go ahead and tell you what I think about it. Um, okay, so and you guys know that I I actually uh, like Condor equipment, and you can get these jackets, uh, combat jackets like this. There's a bunch of different kinds out there. I'm giving you what my personal opinion is on this jacket. Um, like I said, personal opinion. All right, so uh, the jacket comes in uh, OD green, brown. Uh, it comes in. Uh, gray or it's kind of off gray I guess like a weird color um, let me uh, it, it comes in you know navy and black so let me tell you a little bit about uh, this version okay so it says this uh, it's a durable waterproof lightweight breathable fabric contains beds of microfiber pores smaller than a raindrop but hundreds times larger than a molecule of the water vapors the triple layer combination wicks moisture stops water from passing through Circulates body heat. In, uh, description: Line stand-up collar. Uh, that was this is this right here what they're talking about? Uh, stowaway hoodie, which does have the hoodie in the back. Uh, two shoulder pockets, two four by four shoulder patch uh, panels, two uh, internal pockets, two high-rise slash chest pockets, forearm pockets, double zippers, back pocket, um, underarm vent, uh, durable layer reinforced forearms, draw strap, uh, waistband and hood, adjustable wrist cut off, uh, uh, it is imported, it's coming from somewhere, so the outer layer is 100% uh, polyester, uh, four way elastic high density fabric, mid layer breathable film membrane, inner layer uh, super fine fleece, uh, and here's some care instructions, it says uh, no bleach, no iron, no dry clean, uh, wash inside, uh, out in low temperature and tumble dry in low heat, I have washed this jacket already, and uh, did exactly what it said, and you know, no no problems with it. Uh, okay, oh, here's the colors. My bad. It says OD uh, black, coyote tan, and foliage. Foliage is OD green. That's what the color I have. Uh, now I'll talk a little bit about this jacket and um, what what I think about it. It does have that uh, breathable shell technology inside of it. It says um, I, I I don't sweat wearing this jacket. Um, like you can buy some other jackets and they you just they do not breathe and you can you can feel it it just get hot inside and you sweat and it, it feels like this one doesn't do it near as, uh, or doesn't do it at all I haven't noticed it at all and I have uh, you know road marched with this and moved with this jacket and just uh, pretty good quality I'm really happy with it so uh, I'll tell you what I think let me just move the camera and I apologize let me just move the camera where you guys can see a little bit better see me um, talking about it. So um, some of the features in this coat uh, in this coat that I've noticed that I really enjoy is the pockets here at the chest. I really like those. They've got these nice little uh, plastic uh, like they're just made for your finger to grab it you know and pull. It's really nice pull down pockets right here. Uh, two of them. Um, you know put your hands in there and warm them if you got to. They're not at a uncomfortable height or position where it wouldn't be comfortable just throw your hands in there. I'm always wearing gloves anyways if it's cold out. But inside of there, there is a pocket. Inside of there, that it's kind of down low. Can't really see it as well, but here it is right here. And it's actually for um, an iPhone or an iPod. And slips, if I can get it to go in now, it slips just right in there and it sets you know, really nice inside of there. You can see the pocket, and it also has this nice little feature. Um, has these little iPod slots here. They go in, so you can run your cords inside of it up into your ears. Um, the earphone cords. Just a nice pocket, and uh, same feature on this side as that's on this side. Um, they did well mimicking both uh, pockets on each side. Uh, now we'll talk about uh, the other pockets. We do have the side pocket, which has that uh, same little feature for the uh, iPod. Uh, headphones, a little plastic piece, so you can weave your uh, your stuff up into your ears and you can listen to music or whatever. Um, it does not have that little iPod pocket in there, which uh, it doesn't need anyways, it's a smaller pocket. Well, that's a nice little pocket to have. And uh, additionally, 
uh, mirrored on the opposite side as well. Uh, same little thing. And it also has uh, the pocket right here on uh, your forearm, which is nice for um, uh, whatever little items you need to throw in there. I've thrown my iPod in there a few times. Uh, it works pretty good. I, I, I like this little pocket. A uh, piece of paper and stuff like that I throw a lot in there. And plus, uh, when you actually have your vest on, uh, if you're wearing a, um, a vest or a Molly or uh, IVA, it actually, you know, you have access to that extra pocket down there, which comes in useful when you need it. Um, it does have these little uh, rubber straps, Velcro. Uh, now, the, these are like huge. These um, the actual, I guess you'd call it the male end of the Velcro, are these uh, neat little uh, triangles at the tip of them that man they really catch they really catch on there a nice elastic on here um, the forearm here the elbow part is uh, you know it's got an extra piece on it so it's it's uh, made to you know wear right there uh, one thing I've noticed that I really like about this jacket is when you get down to the prone it's not it doesn't bring up uh, you know debris this stuff just falls off this jacket you, know, you lay down in the snow and you stand up and the snow is going to fall off this jacket. It's just really, really nice. It does have the, um, the shoulder pads and I'm sporting a little, uh, little, little uh, looks like a pirate patch or something on there. And uh, the, the OD Green US flag on here. It's got room for another one down there if you wanted to, but I always just sport one on each side if I'm going to. It also has this uh, really high top here and um, also has this little piece of fabric so when you zip it up, uh, this could fold over and then it's got this really soft lining so if I did decide to zip it up this is not it doesn't have that zipper on your face it has this little soft piece on here which folds right back out of the way you know when you are not zipping it up just really nice um, it does have the uh, the back right here uh, grab for the hood Uh, it is a large hood. I, I believe this would will fit over a K-pop. I mean, I know this will fit over K-pop. Well, this is gigantic, you know. Um, if you wanted to cinch it down, which is, this is a really cool feature I didn't mention uh, when I saw the pockets. But this is where your pull tabs are to cinch down your hood inside your pocket out of the way and not hanging, not where they're going to get hung up on anything at all, um, which is really nice. Um, you know, you could, this is a nice size hood, and it's got that... Uh, which I always like, that little little brim right here on it. Uh, I don't know if you can see, it's got this just little, small little brim. So when you put it over your hood, you got almost like a bill hanging off of it. It does have a piece of uh, Velcro right here. And uh, there's also one in the hood, it's inside the collar. So when you roll it up, it actually, they cinch real nice together. Um, it does have these uh, right here. I don't know if you can see, but I guess you could put a map or something inside there if you needed to uh i don't know what you put in there uh, like i said a map but uh you're not gonna have access to it if you have any kind of uh you know vest on if you have a molly rack you would definitely have access to that which would be a nice feature um really nice man I, like i said i don't sweat in it and it does have that um liner that it was talking about that very micro fleece thin liner that I, I really, really like. That's a nice feature. It also has these um, little side pockets right here on the inside, one here, and additionally one on this side, mirroring it. Uh, you know, Condor does a really good job doing that. It also has these, um, and I'll try to pull it up here, little cinch strap to uh, pull it tight. These jackets are made to um, fit your body in a, in a very slim fashion. You know, um, because you do wear, um, you don't want a lot of dangling stuff off of you when you're wearing your gear. If you were wearing this for a combat situation or anything. Now, I, I wear this all the time. I really do love this jacket. Um, uh, I, I, God, I, I couldn't say more about it. It's, I paid like $100 on eBay for this thing. So uh, get online, look around, man. You can find it for pretty cheap. I think $95, free shipping, something like that. So get on there and check it out. Uh, this is the Condor Soft Shell. Uh, Summit jacket um, Highly advise this jacket. I think it's a great jacket a great buy for anybody who uh, likes that combat style gear um, Give it a look and always uh, stay safe